tell us more about this, we are privileged to have in our Rockwell studio Costa Rican tenor David Astorga, who plays Nemorino, and direction consultant for the opera, Prince Ravi of the Royal Family of Cambodia. Thank you for joining us so early and so glad to have you both on the show. Thank you very much indeed. Thank it's a real you. It's my it's a, pleasure. It's a real privilege. Uh, Prince Ravi, perhaps we can start uh, by uh, you telling us uh, how, uh, you know, uh, a little more about this, this opera. For casual fans who may not be too familiar with it, you are, you are the uh, direction consultant for this uh, particular opera. Can you tell us a little bit more about this work? Well, uh, it is a work uh, which, uh, which was born when uh, uh, we came to uh, the Philippines in April. So mm -hmm. we, we ha with uh, Maestro Vincenzo Grisostomi Travallini, mm -hmm. who is a very well-known uh, stage director in uh, Italy and uh, mm -hmm. all around the world, especially in Japan as well. I'm collaborating with him for uh, eight years now, almost ten years, excuse mm -hmm. me. And uh, we wanted to, 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 to put on a, a show uh, which was more oriented on the feelings and uh, Mrs. Tantoko from Rustan w was wanted a happy ending and so we thought about uh, all together about Elixir of Love and Elixir mm -hmm. of Love is uh, a very nice story very romantic mm -hmm. of uh, a young boy in a village who is uh, in love uh, with the most intellectual most educated lady and uh, he's he will do everything anything in the world to have her attention and uh, he will did it but uh, he will do. He will make it at the end. But I, I only tell you. I won't tell you about the story because you have to see the show, of course. Right, right. Okay. Well, I want to to switch to David now. Uh, you know, you talk about uh, singing in the opera as as a, as a great passion. You 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 say it's it's really more than just a job for you. Uh, it sounds like singing for you truly mm -hmm. is a passion, as as for many and uh, as for many and probably all singers out there. Tell us a little bit about how you feel about uh, you know singing being more than a job. Well, that's right. Uh, singing for an opera singer is more than than just a simple job. Mm -hmm. It's a passion, and and you have to do lots of sacrifices if you really want to have a career and a real artistic life. Mm -hmm. So you need that kind of input if if you want to push, and and that's basically my my situation now. It's singing is like breathing, like eating, like yeah, normal. You know, this kind of needs that you. <laughs> that you have in your life, huh? Right, I, I can imagine. How did you begin in, in, uh, in opera? Well, it is very interesting because I was introduced to opera to, uh, from, um, by my mother, mm -hmm. but I discovered that I had the voice in a karaoke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, it, it was kind of fun to discover that I actually had the voice. Then all my cousins and my family, my relatives, they were like, you really should study singing mm -hmm. and it, it started just like that uh, just like a, a, as a hobby then it became very very strong and I, I quit everything just to follow this this opportunity and here I am in the Philippines now <laughs> it's our pleasure to have you here so opera truly is life I'd like to switch to Prince Ravi now and, and ask you the same question really it's it's quite unusual a uh, member of, of the royal family of Cambodia and uh, a, a champion of opera how did how did your love affair with opera begin well, my love affair with opera begins when I was a little boy because mm -hmm. uh, I was educated in a very uh, traditional way by my mother who was a very classic princess and mm -hmm. uh, she introduced me to all the art of the performing arts because in the royal family we are also holding the tradition of the royal ballet you know, mm -hmm. the royal ballet of Cambodia is uh, very well known over the world but on my father's side he was more attracted to um, classical music of the western countries mm -hmm. and he was the first to lead me to the opera and I was so, so so amazed and so bewildered that uh, the first thing when I f got my first salary when I was 18 years old I remember mm -hmm. I bought a ticket to see Don Giovanni in Paris mm -hmm. and uh, from that moment on it was just a passion who grows up up and up and uh, now I'm in the Philippines and I'm very happy because with my story with Chesso Grisostomy we went to we had the honor to be uh, received by the king uh, in January mm -hmm. because we have a project to spread out this culture of uh, Western opera in mm. the all southeastern Asian countries. Right. 
Uh, well, a little bit more about that, perhaps. Uh, you you are, like you said, a, a champion for, for opera in Southeast Asia, and you, you, you travel and try to spread the love of, of opera. How would you rate um, the opera scene here uh, and in other countries in Southeast Asia, and how can we perhaps foster a greater love for classical uh, opera? Well, you know, uh, um, the Western opera is uh, above all known in Asia, in uh, Japan, mm -hmm. Korea, mm -hmm. and China. For us in the Southeastern Asia country, I think the Philippines uh, have always been at the, uh, the top of uh, whatever could be modern. Uh, I remember when I studied the story of the first visit of my great-grandfather, King Norodom I, in mm -hmm. 1872. When he got back to Cambodia, he brought back some Philippine musicians so that the first modern a military ban was created in Cambodia thanks to Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So it, it is very nice for me to, to be back to the Philippines in a way because it's the country which is in our heart uh, for us Cambodians to begin a new adventure on the music and so I think that the musical scene in Philippines is the most advanced of all Southeast Asia country uh, about opera and when we arrived to the cultural center of the Philippines which is a, such a nice organization we met with so many competent people like uh, our executive producer for instance Nestor Jardin mm. who just uh, believed that we were doing such a great job and he gave us all the means to do so so I would li I really want to thank Ness Jardin and all the staff at the CCP they are all extraordinary people it's fantastic to hear that it's very very heartening to hear that uh, jumping back to David now tell us a little bit about the role that you you'll be seeing the Marino and and how uh, I've read how you've compared yourself to, to the role that you play or to the role that you sing uh, tell us a little bit more about that and, and perhaps some of the other people who will be on stage with you yeah well exactly I I, I feel the same way as Nemorino mm -hmm. because I, I started uh, as a, as a um, as a poor guy in a small village sure. and uh, and I feel basically the same I feel this identification with Nemorino mm -hmm. and uh, well it's it's a role that I can sing that I can sing well I think and um, and the most important thing is to to bring it alive in, in in a decent way and that's my my main challenge this time every time I do it is uh, is my my biggest challenge to 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 do it in a proper way mm -hmm. And uh, well, we're never pleased as opera singers, as, as artists. We are very, very demanding mm -hmm. with our our own job. But mm -hmm. uh, I think we will have a beautiful, beautiful show this this weekend. So I, I really, really hope all people here in Manila will come and join us to see this beautiful, beautiful show that we're preparing. There you go. Well, uh, Prince Ravi, last word to you, perhaps uh, a, a quick invitation uh, and, and maybe just a, a few more names. Uh, you know, David is just one of the many uh, big names that we have uh, as part yes. of this staging here. Uh, perhaps one or two other names uh, to, to look forward to and an invitation to, to everybody to come and see yeah, and experience uh, this of opera. Course, of course, of course. Now we have a very exceptional cast uh, because we, we wanted to do uh, Alicia Orla, which is a little different because we wanted a Nemorino, which is a little more uh, secure of himself, a little more virile, mm -hmm. uh, a man who knows that he wants this lady. Mm -hmm. Adina is so fabulously beautiful. Her name is uh, Elena Monti mm -hmm. and she's Things just like an angel you would just enjoy and she's got the physical uh, of an angel she's blonde with blue eyes she's absolutely nice and uh, and she was uh, brought up let's say in the Academy of La Scala so it mm. is one of the most important Academy of singing in Europe mm -hmm. then we have the advantage to have also Francesco Voltaggio who is a fabulous uh, dul camara uh, with all the surprises and all the the little touch of humors which mm. are uh, absolutely characteristic of his role and above all, we are so happy to welcome again on the CCP stage Rachel Herodias, who is one of the most uh, fascinating uh, soprano of the Philippines. Uh, and uh, together with her, we selected also her husband, mm -hmm. Park Byung In, who is uh, from Korea and who will sing the role of Belcore mm -hmm. under the direction, of course, of Maestro Barbieri. But uh, I tell you, with Maestro Vincenzo Grisostomi, we wanted to do something which was uh, slightly different from the uh, normal Elisir more but always respecting the traditions right I think it's worth uh, perhaps uh, mentioning that, that you know for, for people who might be new to opera this is this is probably a, a very good way to be introduced to opera this is this is a this is a light comic opera if I'm not mistaken uh, so a great way to, to sort yes. of uh, get started in, in this uh, in this classical form 
It's not a, not a comic. The, 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 the actual term is melodrama giocoso. There you That's go. to say it's a drama, it's a playful drama. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because, uh, for instance, an opera, what we call opera comique in, France, in French, for instance, could have a very, very sad end. It's not mm. the point. Here it will be a very nice, happy ending, mm -hmm. but it will be full of little jokes, of little plays, but also of tragic moments, because Nemorino is not sure that his tricks will function. This right. is why he will need this elixir d'amour, this filter <laughs> of love. All right. Well, there you go. It's a great way to get started in opera. Don't miss the opportunity to, to see all these great stars here on stage. I'd like to say thank you to, uh, of course, David Astorga, uh, who will be playing Nemorino, and, of course, Prince uh, Ravi for uh, helping us understand a little bit more about opera. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us this morning. You're most welcome. Thank Thanks you very to much. you. A real pleasure.